Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Anyway, so um, first things first. Um, JJ uh, is passing his greetings to uh, all of you. Uh, JJ wants uh, me to assure you that he's okay. And uh, he's very grateful, especially to those of you that gave him the support. And uh, soon he will actually, you know, make an appearance somewhere. Uh, we, we we want him to do it. Just take a small video and uh, yeah. you know share it share it on social media. So that will be done uh, soon. But for now, JJ is just wanting you people to know that uh, he's okay and um, and he's grateful to you. Uh, this is basically the message that uh, i have uh, for you because there are some of you who have been at you look very old i'm old i'm not young that's for sure but of course i want to look a little bit i don't want to look old i don't want to grow old very soon you know i've got more years remember i want to become president so and uh, yeah i still have a bit more years so yeah but anyway yeah. So yes, JJ. So JJ is okay. He's okay. This is an assurance uh, to all of you, especially those of you who have been, you know, worried here and there and whatever, whatever. But I, I, I've, I've been telling you from from day one. Uh, I've been telling you about JJ. And tonight, I am, you know, uh, emphasizing the point again that JJ is okay. There is communication. There is communication from JJ. And he is saying he's okay and he's very grateful. This is the message. Three points. I am okay. I'm grateful to the people that uh, supported me that stood with me in difficulty times and of course uh soon he will make uh he's also in western perth <laughs> he will make a, an appearance uh, very soon <laughs> he's also in western perth uh, australian perth yeah anyway yeah that's that and then of course secondly i want to um say i'm very grateful to uh the zambian uh the zambian gentleman that i met uh this morning you know um and uh, gave me a, a hundred dollars where is it it's actually still here the hundred dollars that that guy gave me it's still in my wallet see that's the hundred dollars that somebody gave me i'm very grateful and uh, I'm not in hiding. I'm not in hiding. We are just here. We even move around and so on and so forth. So, uh, so we are, we are, we are, we are okay. The, what is the the other point? Ish. My mind is is like cranking. It's cranking. I haven't I haven't slept. You know, I haven't slept. I really wanted to do this, but at this point, the mind is just something else. So, the other point that I, I wanted to bring about is um, some of these people that uh, are, are against President Edgar Chagwalungu. Now, 
let me say this it is normal in politics for people to shift it's normal for people in politics for people to change so i'm not surprised when i see some of these people you know uh, turning against edgar Chagualungu. except that i just want to make a few points to you people number one you have to remember that during the time of edgar some of you benefited a lot from the, the from the rule of edgar Chagualungu. you benefited a lot so it is actually surprising when you today you want to turn around and start attacking edgar Chagualungu. i think that is not a, even if my politics i think that is a little bit too much i think that is a little bit too much so i'm just kindly asking you that it's okay it's, it's okay for you people to move okay to move to go to uh upnd it is okay but please spare edgar lungu from your your talking i know upnd the 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 mission that they give them that they give those who cross each time you cross to edgar lungu they want you uh, to to work in the HDM, they want you to attack edgar lungu but i think he some of you you benefited so much from it galungu and i find it baffling that you would stand up and you would talk against it galungu honestly eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you it is shocking it is really shocking the level of treachery the level of ingratitude is, is just what is shocking me. I, I, I repeat, I don't have a problem people moving from one political party to the other. I don't have a problem. My issue is when you start talking ill of Ed Galungu, when you start talking bad things about Ed Galungu, I think it is very bad. I mean, like any forever, forever, forever shall you know, I mean, not that I know shall you because I don't know that you anywhere really, but not as much some of you i mean you, you took contracts you made business eh, during the time of ed galungu it is actually very shocking like even and some of you you were even favored eh? you are even favored by ed galungu personally ed galungu supporting you standing with you and today you want to turn around and start uh, start talking nonsense against ed galungu no that is not acceptable guys that is not acceptable that is not acceptable and you know some of you we even know why you have gone to upnd some of you have gone to upnd to insulate yourself from prosecution because some of you if you had not uh, gravitated towards upnd you would, a number of cases would have followed you but you have gone there because some of you you want to insulate yourself from prosecution some of you you want to uh, to get benefits to get some business out of upnd we know that some of you had got con had contracts upnd pf and you have not been paid for example you know uyu chipu wa moyo wa ku parliament chipu wa moyo chipu wa moyo Chupu Amoyo made money during the time of Edgar. He made money during the time of Edgar. That guy got contracts, some road contracts. And to protect himself, he 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 has gone all in in UPND so that he, you know he can be protected and he can be paid his money. We know Moyo, you know, is with the UPND so that he can get some benefits. Some of these people, it's about business. Eh? When you talk about, uh, I saw Lubusha also, you know, uh, is it the other day or yesterday? Okay. I mean, these are businessmen. Lubusha is a businessman. And of course, naturally, any businessman, whenever there is a change of government, they want to, to move. But you see, it is okay for Lubusha to, you know, like I'm saying, to change. But, you know, uh, just... It's okay. It's okay, but mwashalamu fi, mwashalamu, mwashalamu. Not whatever. I know Lubusha. I don't think he had said anything bad against the against Ed Galungu. So let me not lie. No, 
Lubusha has not said anything against Ed Galungu, at least I haven't heard it. But I was just disappointed to see that him, even as a provincial chairman, chairman of Eastern Province, moving like that, it's his choice. It's his choice. It's his choice. But so I can only wish them best. But some of these people, even HH, should realize that these people they are not moving to HH. Avena Lubusha Lubusha cannot come up and tell us, tell the Zambian people that Ed, uh, Haka Inde Ichirema is the best leader. They know that this man has failed. They are just saving their skin. They are just saving their interests. They are just saving their interests. Mungandu, you know, Honorable Mungandu, I mean, that man was involved in, you know, in, in that, uh, remember the, the hunting licenses and whatever, whatever. That guy has been part of that. And he's also saving his, his interest. A lot of these politicians, they move to UPND not because they believe in Haka Inde Ichirema. Not because they believe in Haka Inde Ichirema. I can tell you that myself, I might even be a, a, a more genuine person to Haka Inde Ichirema because I tell him the truth. Than these people who are coming now and cheating Haka Inde Ichirema. Can you come and tell Haka Inde Ichirema today that you are the best president? Eh? Where could we get any leader, a, a leader like this one? Now, Haka in the HM, and I won't find a win. Eh? Just go back and look at these people, what they used to say about Ed Galungu. Go back and see what they used to say about Ed Galungu. They, they, were, they, they were prophesying they, they could kill for Ed Galungu. They could do anything. They could walk naked for Ed Galungu. But today, Ed Galungu is out. Haka in the HM is in State House, and they want to pretend like Haka in the HM. They love him so much. Haka in the HM is the best leader. Let's be real, man. Let's be real. At least for me, this is one thing that, you know, you can never fault me. You can never fault me. Even when I got pressured because of my court cases and went to bow to Haka in the Ichirima, I never praised him uh, un 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 unwarrantly. I never did. I never did. I never stood to say, no, uh, even in the secret meetings that we used to have, I never said, I always said, there's something that we need to do. There's something that we need to change. But of course, UPND doesn't, doesn't like to hear that. UPND, they want to hear you praising Haka in the HM. But some of you, we know that you know, you, you don't believe what you say. But you just say it so that, you know, you can get those benefits. You can get those benefits. And it's only Haka in the HDMI who is being fooled, not the Zambian people. The Zambian people will not be fooled by what these people say. It's only Haka in the HDMI and these people around who will be fooled uh, when you people talk good of Haka in the HDMI to say he's the best leader. Zambian people know. The Zambian people know that this guy has failed. Haka in the HDMI is a failed project. And that's why they wanted Galungu. They wanted Galungu to come back. People want Ed Galungu to come back. And I'm saying people, of course, there are a few of you that don't want Haka in, that don't want Ed Galungu. But majority Zambians want Ed Galungu to come back. Whether you like it or not, majority Zambians want Ed Galungu to come back. Yes, like any person, there are some people that may not want you. But if you look at majority Zambians, if you go on the grounds, even in the villages, they want Ed Galungu to come back. And that's why some of us, we are supporting Ed Galungu. Because Ed Galungu is our, is our Moses. Ed Galungu is our Moses. And that's why we are supporting him. So even those of you who are busy now, gravitating, going this side, very soon you'll be disappointed. Very soon you'll be disappointed. We know there are a number of people who want to betray or who are acting uh, treacherously. We know. We know, especially among members of parliament, we know what you are doing. Eh? Even in Kumuchinga, there is that woman in Muchinga province. I'm sparing you tonight. I'm not mentioning your name. But we know there is that woman in Muchinga province. Hello, Muchinga province. Muchinga province, that woman in Muchinga province, we know that you are trying to stand in the face. But I'm telling you, 
those of you who are going this way, you are going to Haka Inde Ichinema when it's too late. Haka Inde Ichinema has failed. Haka Inde Ichinema has failed. My advice to you is that, Vane, let us just stick with Ed Galungu. Let us work with Ed Galungu. Let us help Ed Galungu. Because Ed Galungu is bouncing back. And Haka Inde Ichinema or anybody else we will not stop this. We will not stop it. Because in Edgar Lungu, that is where there is a little bit of hope. That's where there is a little bit of hope. Not Muriba Aka in the So you can go. If you want, you go. Like others are doing. But your joy or your celebration will not last. Because very soon, Edgar Lungu is bouncing back. Is bouncing back not because of what, what, because of the failures of Haka in the HDM. Haka in the HDM has failed. So, who is our alternative? Our alternative is tested leadership. Password ni Ed Galungu. So, Ed Galungu is coming back. I know, even in Muka, eh? even in Muka, I know, even in Muka, there are people that are scheming against Ed Galungu. There are people who are scheming against Edgar Chagwalungu. You are hoping that Edgar Lungu uh, will be bad from contesting elections. There is nothing like Edgar Lungu will be bad from contesting elections. Because Edgar Lungu is fully eligible to contest elections. Otherwise, my, my point is, has always been, why should Edgar Lungu be ineligible? In, in in the next election when in 2021 he stood in the election and participated where Haka in the emerged winner how how are you going to what has changed what has changed between you know in in last in uh, last elections 2021 and now what has changed nothing has changed so there is no way Ed Galung is going to be bad by those judges and 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 if those judges will dare do that i can assure you you will see you will see what will happen i'm not going to say no this is what will happen whatever whatever but i can assure you that you will see you will live to regret and you remember these videos that i'm making that going the route of burning edgar Lung, you will not win you will not win at all you will not win Barring Ed Galungu will not win. This I can assure you, Ed Galungu will not be bad. Ed Galungu is going to contest. And there are those people that are saying, no, hey, why can't Ed Galungu support and whatever, whatever, whatever. Yes, we have got people that we think would do better than here and there. But we are looking at it. tested leadership. We don't want inexperience again. We want somebody that at this point in time can get in and get things done. And that tested leadership is Edgar Shabalungu. So, Muka, Muka, Mueva Leskima, forget it. And this pride that you have, some of you in Uka, the pride that you have, some of you leaders in Uka, where you think that, you know, Uka is so powerful, like Edgar Lungu needs Uka. I've told you before, Edgar Lungu doesn't need Uka. Edgar Lungu doesn't need Uka, and you are even lucky that Edgar Lungu humbled himself to sit with some of you, Waka Pususu. You are even lucky that Edgar Lungu sat with you, Imo Waka Pususu, some of you, Waka Pususu. Small boys and girls, you are even lucky that you are sitting with Edgar Lungu, because on your own, who are you, political? On your own, who are you? Who are you politically? Who are you? Eh? Who are you? Who are you? Eh? Some of you, you, you contested my elections. In the last elections, you contested. How many votes did you get? How many votes did you get? Eh? You are even scared. To, some of you are even scared to, 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 to tell people that you, you contested. You contested in the last elections because the votes you got were embarrassing. You know, I can speak proudly. Me, I said, me, I've, I've never lost politically. I've never lost. 
that's one thing. Me, I've never lost politically. I have never lost. When I supported Edgar Chagolungu, Edgar Chagolungu won in 2015. When I supported Edgar Chagolungu in 2015, 2016, Edgar Chagolungu won. I didn't support him in 2021. I supported Haka in the Ichirema. Even with some of you, to my young chaps, you don't understand, you don't know anything. I supported your, your Haka in the Ichirema. If I was against Haka in the Ichirema, I'm telling you Haka in the Ichirema would have tumbled. If I didn't support Haka in the Ichirema, and them, if I didn't support Haka in the Ichirema in 2020, in 2021, Haka in the Ichirema would not be president. If I didn't support him, if I didn't support him, I if I didn't support Haka in the Haka in the Ngate president. Ngate president in Dem Yeva. And I am daring you, 2021, uh, the next elections are coming. You will see. You will see, you will see. I may not be in Zambia. I may not be in Zambia, but from wherever I will be, I can assure you that you will not get it. The 2021 general elections went through because some of us, some of us supported Haka in the Ichirema. Supported Haka in the Ichirema. That election would have crumbled that day when you were Davis Mwila. When you were Davis Mwila went to Murungushi and he said, we don't understand this election. There is rigging. That night, that night, imamweva ichimweva she stand understand our politics. You cannot understand this. You cannot understand this. That day, if I Chirvatayari did not support Haka in the Ichirema, the elections would have would have crumbled. Haka in the Ichirema wouldn't have been president. Haka in the Ichirema wouldn't have been president. Who ran? Who ran a ferocious campaign against Edgar Chagalungu? Who distracted? Who distracted people against the uh, um, f uh, f against the, the rigging, which was going on? Because rigging was there, and the PF realized it. But Davis Mueller is right. I can tell you. I can reveal to you. He was right when he stood there at Mulungushi and he said there is rigging. If you remember, those of you who followed those elections, even the ECs that they were confused. They were confused how numbers were coming. That's how they stopped announcing. You remember two, three days. They were not. They were not announcing. And Davis will appeared and said, we don't understand this nonsense. We are going to petition this election. Who came out before everyone could speak? I am the first one that came out to speak. I am the first one. Even Haka in the HMO was hiding in his bunker. Even Haka in the HMO was hiding in his bunker. UPND once said they were hiding in the bunker. I came out to challenge what Davis will to distract to distract the entire PF from them disputing the election because they were going to dispute the elections. And if they had disputed the election, Ed Galung would have continued and we could have that we could have had the next election. We could have had the rerun. We could have had the rerun. I'm telling you, we were going to because when the PF came up and said mm -mm, there is something wrong here. That evidence would have been found. They had reasonable cause to dispute that election. PF had reasonable cause to dispute that election. Reasonable cause. Because rigging was happening. And it was very evident. But because of the propaganda that we pushed in, because of the propaganda that I pushed in, I distracted your PF from going ahead with the petition. I distracted. Even during, we don't wanna quote, we don't wanna quote Kwangala, propaganda. <laughs> Not that propaganda. Uh, when you talk, when some of us talk, we make things move. Even in 2016, even in 2016, eh? if you remember, those of you, Mweva Kalamba, Mweva Konkefin, do you remember in 2016, all of you, you were glued to my page. 
All of you, you are glued to my page to hear the updates. And I was giving you the updates according to, you know, <laughs> what to the agenda that I had. If again in 2016, in 2016, 2016, the, the, those elections, if again I had that, I was giving you figures. I declared Ed Galungu before even this is it. Because I, I was running my own parallel tabulations and I gave you the figures. And if you go to my figures, what I brought out is exactly what Ed Galungu got. Is what Ed Galungu got. So, mwinamu na kwati kwa angala. Mwinamu na kwati kwa angala. Tamu wakabutu nge. Tamu wakabutu nge wa UPND. Tamu wakabutu nge nge mieva. Haka inda I am against him and he's not going to win an election. Ed Galungu is going to win because this time around, we are not going to allow you to rig the elections the way you did. We will be exposing you. We will be exposing you the, the rigging that, you, that, that you'll be doing. You are good at rigging. So it will not it is not going to happen. It is not going to happen this time around. We let you, we let you off the hook because really the person that made a mistake is the PF when they decided to lock me up. You locked me up at a wrong time. And I I I I, I swore I swore that you will pay for it. You paid for it for incarcerating me in the one stray incarcerating me whoever schemed that to arrest you for tayari and treat him so bad you treated me so bad so bad you came to my house turned things upside down eh? went to my sureties you wanted to keep me inside by pf that is the mistake you made and when you made that mistake, when I came out, I said, they will see. And I joined the campaign of Haka Inde Ichirema. I campaigned for Haka Inde Ichirema. During the elections, I pushed the agenda of Haka Inde Ichirema. I made people not to look at the one million Yabufi. Muli ya liyama elections na mkala ndeshani, mkala ndeshani. Mwali vika ili one million mwawi ni nana yoba yuba PF ya kuiba, wa UPND ya kuiba. You stole that election. And I, Chirufatayari, distracted the people from not following that. Because BPF Mwari Chiramu. Mwari Chiramu, especially that Karakaraka arrest, Karakari Nchitrobu, we narifuli rwe. Narifuli rwe. So, Mwira yumfano kuyumfati, mfye, 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 mfye. If we stood against you, nga Mwari Mwenako, we stood with you, we overlooked the nonsense that you were doing. We knew what you did in Southern Province. We knew what you were doing in Northwestern Province. We knew how Congo was killed. We knew. But we put aside all that. But just that death of Congo would have warranted, you know, the election to be declared now and void. Just that killing of Congo would have, would have warranted that. How would you have disputed? The people that you were beating in Southern Province would have warranted. Would have warranted. So that election would have been disputed. But we ran a propaganda for Haka Inde Ichirema to win an election. We ran a propaganda. But UPND, you didn't win that election fair and square you didn't you rigged that election and some of us we can we can admit i can admit that i plead guilty to overlook all the malpractices which you did all the violence which you did so that we can push haka in the to be in state house and edgar lungu lost because of the arrogance of some people that were around him the arrogance, the bitterness, the pettiness, he lost an election. And this is, this is something, I'm, I'm saying this, this is something that we should learn from. This is something that we should learn from. Those people that are surrounding uh, Edgar Chagwalungu, I mean, don't be pompous, because already 
you are see we are seeing some of you some of these people you know like counting chicks don't count chicks before they hatch this is time to wait this is not time to relax this is not time to relax i'm telling you all of you including you balungu ndemieba this is not time to relax this is not time to relax this is time to work and this is not time to be petty uh -uh. And this is not time to be selfish. Ah ah. Tafi a wombe. If inga to avika poka harogas, to avika po petness, to avika pona selfishness. Tafi a wombe. All of us need to work very hard. Need to work very very hard. Don't count the chicks before they hatch. This election has already been won by Edgar Chagalungu. Nothing is going to stop it. But Edgar Lungu and his people need to go forward need to go forward i'm happy with this with, with some of the the deliberations that came out of your central committee but i want to tell you that you don't have time you don't have time i am a hard work committee hard work committee mule panga don't waste time with bureaucracy don't waste time with bureaucracy hit the ground start campaigning we have already started this is already a campaign mode UPND, they have already started. Look at what Andalek is doing. Look at what Andalek is doing. Andalek suffered. Andalek suffered. He knows what suffering is. And that's why I don't blame him. I actually commend him for what he's doing. Go to his page. Andalek is seriously working. Who is working like Andalek in PF? Who is working like Andalek in PF? Who is working like Andalek in PF? Hmm? I I commend my brother Emmanuel Mwamba. Emmanuel Mwamba mwendule womba. Aula womba. Ula womba you are really you know you are really working. You are working times four. But we need more people to come in. We need more people to come in. We need people to start showing themselves. Start showing themselves. Start coming out and start selling Edgar Chagwalungu. That's why stop forget you forget about Uka. Uka, leave it, leave it to those boys and girls. And when I say boys and girls, I give respect, you know, to Basakui Basukota. I give respect to Banawakui. Uh, I give respect to Bachara Kateka. Our Shara, they are boys and girls. Our Shara, they are boys and girls. Leave it to those boys and girls who think they now bakula sana because bamona you know now bakwata mtu anika ne eh bamona kwati bantu sana leave them leave them uka is is nothing but pf let's start selling edgar chagwalungu but edgar lungu come out strongly come out strongly let's 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 heighten the visibility let's heighten the message because campaigns have started campaigns have started we don't have time for this hard work hard work hard work fish makes that decide fish makes that or decide deciding on what eh pf is the biggest opposition political party pf is the biggest party let those who want to be part of the winning team join pf PF doesn't need to start following Chinufatayari to say to Papata Chinufatayari come with us. He doesn't need to follow Lubusha Lubusha. Please, please stay with us. Let Lubusha go. Let him go. He will regret Kuntanj. Let him go. PF is the biggest opposition political party. Those who want to be part of the glory, they should join PF. They should come to PF. I don't uh, always agree with Sean Tembo, but on, on this instance, I'm agreeing with John Temple. I'm agreeing with Badan Pule. I'm agreeing with uh, 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 Peter Chanda. I'm agreeing with Musoni. I'm agreeing with uh, Musoma. These guys, they know. PF is the biggest political party. So let us start moving that direction. People are waiting. We can't keep people waiting, waiting, waiting for what? Eh? No, eh, Huka is sitting, whatever, whatever. To hell with Huka. I'm telling you now. To hell with Huka. To hell with those boys and girls who think they have got any political clout. To hell with them. Let them be. 
Let us move. Let us start adding, selling Edgar Lungu. Let people know. People already know Edgar Lungu. But let people know that Edgar Lungu is going to be on the ballot. Let people know that Edgar Lungu is going to be on the ballot. Let, let us send a message to all those, you know, uh, doomsayers who think that Edgar Lungu will not be on the ballot. Let us start selling it now. If you are not selling Edgar Lungu, what are you waiting for? If you are not selling Edgar Lungu now, what are you waiting for? The full swing, full swing, I'm declaring that from today, let us start selling Edgar Lungu. Vaiche campaign has opened. I, Chirufatayari, the chief campaigner, is declaring the campaign open. Start making those songs. Start flooding social media with Edgar Lungu. Start flooding them. Start flooding the pictures of Edgar Lungu. Throw them on social media. Paint social media with the pictures of Edgar Lungu. Paint them. Let Edgar Lungu wake up from the slumber. Let's wake him up by the messages that we will be throwing on social media, by the pictures. Throw as many pictures as possible. Start graphics. Start putting different messages. Eddie Galungu 2026. Eddie Galungu 2026. Let Haka Inde be, be be closed out. Be removed from social media. Let us really make sure that to Amuchita cover, let's spend social media with Edgar Chagwalungu standing uh, for 2026. Actually, even my page, now I change. Now I change your page. But make me a very nice banner. I want to put Edgar Lungu for 2026. And Haka Inde is a failed project. Let this message go. Haka Inde Ichirema is a failed project. He's a failed project. Nafirwa, he must go. Uh, Edgar Lungu must come in. Edgar Lungu must come in. Let us sell him. There is nothing to delay. There is nothing if you are quiet. Forget it. Nishtrero lera. Nishtrero lera. Bawuka uko na wale yoko. Na wale ya let them continue. Let them put the whoever they want. Nga wale for they, they can choose Savoy. They can choose Silavoy. Let them choose. Let them choose. Let them choose. Uko kui noko. Uko. 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 Let them be. Let them be. Let them be. Let them be. Bawuka. Let them be. Let us, if we let us go uh, ahead, let us, sali, let us start selling Edgar Chagwalungu. Awabalea kuyu kuyu PND, na balea, avena lugusha, unanika nisha 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 nisha, tuma mpizu, tunaka tuishwa, tumongo, shirefo kumirumbula sana machine. Eh, shirefo kumirumbula sana machine, ndifo kumishamu, I'm giving you chance. But you could tureya kata mpokula mifyampa ula fiokula mifyampa ula fiokula fiokula. Campaign for Edgar Lungu has opened. Vaichanami papata, start making those videos, start sending them to me, start posting on TikTok, start posting on, 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 on YouTube. Let us flood, I'm telling you. Let us flood. Don't wait at no Facebook, Perego, Kashinga, 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 no. These things will come as we are going. These things will come as you are going. Let us start putting in our best for now. As we are going, you know, you will get some benefit. I can assure you, you will get some benefit. I can assure you, you will get some benefit as we are going. For now, let us put in our sacrifice. Let us sacrifice. It is not for Lungu. It is for our country. Even if Lungu, let us push him in. Let us push him in. Nami papa tatapari fimbi, tapari fimbi fya kuwaya waya pa. Edi galungu must come back. Let us bring that message to the people. Let us flood it on social media. Awabalea kavalea. Bauka kavalea. Let them be waiting. Koki no baka salena wa ena president wa wichokoki if you finish, if it's okay. I'm not going to accuse them to say they have been paid by UPND and whatever, whatever. Because for me, I don't like to speak things in speculation. I don't like to speak speculation. I don't know whether Savoy has been paid. I don't know if Silavo has been paid. I don't know if Kalava has been paid. I don't know. I don't know. So I will, I will not speculate like that. But I know that some of these people, they have got ulterior motive. Let's put them aside if we let us go. Let us go with Edgar Lungu. Password ni Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is our solution at the moment. Is our solution. TN to Tampoxeringa Edgar Lungu.
Uh, that is the issue. That is the issue. I'm even going to open phone numbers. Inshallah, then if you sana not going to be because I'm not going to be now. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.